I've reacted to and analyzed countless YouTubers doing their first Nuzlocke at this point, but this one is pretty different. When I heard that professional League of Legends caster and Malzahar player Kadrill wanted to do a Nuzlocke on his stream, I decided to reach out and ask him if he needed help setting things up because I wanted to test something. You see, there's a lot of different ways to play a Nuzlocke. Like, which Pokemon game do you even choose? Do you play a ROM hack? What rule set do you play with? Do you use items in battle? What about randomizers? Do you hack in rare candies like all the cool kids are doing? Do you speed up? Do you use what, what, what's, what's, what's going on? If you're just looking to do a Nuzlocke for the first time, you might not even know that there's so many variables to this. And let's be honest, Twitch chat was not gonna be helpful for our friend Kadrill either. Why are you question marking? So I wanted to take this opportunity to prepare my own specially crafted mod and rule set combination that I think will bring the most entertaining experience to both Kadrill and his audience. And today I wanna to see if I succeeded. Did I make things too hard? Maybe too easy? Let's find out together. I'll explain what I built for him along the way. Look at this production value. We got a whole green screen set and everything. Is this on? Look, we can, we can make all sorts of things back here. That's, whoa, that's crazy. Sorry about that, editor. Anyway, something that I was very happy with in 2023 was my relationship with today's sponsor, NordVPN. This is so weird. I don't stand for these normally. I, I sit, I usually sit down for these, but I can be so expressive when I, when I stand here and talk to you guys, and I can use my outside voice. Alfred would be so proud of me. I've been working with Nord for so many years now, and it's because I genuinely think they have a really useful product. VPNs are useful for having a more secure online browsing experience, but for me personally, it's all about the region unlocking. Streaming services are genuinely getting worse every year. Content is disappearing and then reappearing on other websites. It's a nightmare. Seriously, there's this website that shows you how to watch the full Pokemon anime through streaming services. And it's just, what the hell happened? Luckily, a VPN really helps with this issue. Seamlessly switching the region that you're connecting from using your VPN unlocks tons of content that was previously unavailable to you. The most use I get out of my VPN personally is when I'm traveling though. It is actually crazy how prices for hotels, flights, and rental cars change if you connect from a server in a different country. Using Nord, you can make sure you always get the best deal when planning your trips. Grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash pchel to get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan for extra months and an extra gift for free. It's completely risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. And if anything doesn't work, there is 24-7 customer support. Thanks to Nord for sponsoring this video and many before. And I'm sorry I always submit my ad reads so late into the month. I promise it'll get better this year. All right, um, I'll explain the rules I gave him and the randomizer as we go along. The first thing we're gonna see here... Okay, I don't know these Pokemons. What is it? Spiro is trash, Politude, and Armaldo. So I decided to give him Pokemon Emerald with up to Gen 3 because he said that that was about the last game that he played before he stopped playing Pokemon. So I wanted to make sure that he had as many Pokemon as possible as he knew. I do think he said that he didn't play Gen 3 but up to Gen 2, but you can't really do a good one with Gen 2. Um, if you like randomize Heart Gold, Soul Silver, first of all, the game's too long. Second of all, you got Gen 4 in there and then nobody wants to play Gen 2 or Gen 1. So this one was the only one that really made sense to me. Uh, I think Gen 3 has some issues, but I attempted to fix some of them with how I set this randomizer up. But so basically his starter choice is fully randomized here. This can be any Pokemon. The standard universal randomizer doesn't have a lot of options to customize the starter. The only other option is to have only three stage Pokemon, which I thought was a little bit too limiting. I, th I thought it was a little bit too little of Pokemon. So I decided to give him a powerful starter potentially like Armaldo here, which is obviously also what he should pick. That was my thought process for how I set up the randomizer for the starter specifically. So the next thing that we're gonna notice here is I randomized the move sets of the Pokemon. I think this is really important specifically for Gen 3 because Gen 3 learn sets fucking suck. They are so unbelievably bad. Pokemon just learn no moves. They learn random moves at like level 70. It's all really bad. I randomized the move sets and put a setting in to make sure that Pokemon of that Pokemon's type are preferred to be learned. It plays to the Pokemon's strengths without being completely random. I really like this setting. I think it works out really well here for him. So he has like a nice move set, a nice stab move set for all of his Pokemon. And you can throw in some random moves that might be learned here as well. Oh my God, I have rare candies. This was really, really important. Um, I made sure to put this in the document for him that he absolutely has to use these rare candies. We've been over this so many times. This would be, this run would be impossibly boring for his stream if he didn't have the infinite rare candies. It's the best decision I possibly made to give him these. Anything else would have made sense. The only thing that's annoying about it is sometimes you have to deal with annoying chatters accusing you of cheating. Um, but who cares about that? Obviously he's playing with level caps though, so he can't use these rare candies beyond the level of the next gym leader. And I made sure to give him the level caps in advance. Wait, I don't have to grind. Max level is 15. That's right. Okay, we won't get him too high level. 
Good, nice. He wants to learn Rock Tome. Great move. It has 50% power. Uh -huh. Nah, that's ass. Well, it's really good because it always lowers speed. Speed control, especially with something with Armaldo, is really good. But we don't expect him to know that yet. Notice how here at the start, he actually is reading all the descriptions of the moves and the, and the power and stuff. We'll see if he can continue that trend. Because really, with the way I've set this run up, and we'll see this later, the main thing that Cadrill needs to do with the very limited game knowledge he has is he needs to read what his moves do, and he needs to learn the type chart. And I think the goal for this video is going to be to see if he does any of that. Okay, now what do we get? Come on, give me RNG! Again! So this is the next... Um, randomizer setting that I chose that I think was a bit controversial, but I think it works out really well. What you can do in a randomizer is you can set it so that encounters are mapped based on power level. So the early routes are going to have weaker Pokemon, the later routes are going to have stronger Pokemon. I think this is good to introduce some amount of power curve into the game. The mapping is done basically based on a base stat total, right? So just how good the Pokemon is. I think that's a really good setting to use. Also great freeze frame on his face there. And then also he still has one power pick with his starter, which can be any mon and it's not dependent on the on the power level of the starters right i think i think that's a good setup the downside of doing the setting is it reduces uh variance by quite a bit because you see the same early game pokemon that you might even see in the vanilla game over and over again one thing worth noting about low as an encounter is i Ooh. also randomized field Great. items so he's less likely he's very unlikely to actually get a water stone to turn this into a ludicolo so it's kind of just a bad pokemon to be honest Come on, charizard please charizard yeah and as you can see he's gonna start running into these over and over and over again he can have random Pokemons, right? Cliffa. Not against yeah, so the, the trainers also have p random Pokemon oh, based on the power level that they originally had. So these yeah. early trainers are going to be quite oh, easy. It's just going to make it so he wipes less to early trainers having random legendaries and stuff like that. I think it makes for a more I enjoyable experience for him in a stream. Uh, so he's going to catch a couple of bugs, a couple of low life, a couple of uh, ah, you see, I was right. low Pokemon. We can re-roll. Come on. Give me something good. Come on. Come on. Give me a Kyogre. Kyogre. He's come not going to get a Kyogre. That's not bad! That's, That's actually bad. really good. Whopper. Whopper, as he calls it, is actually a fantastic early game encounter. It evolves super, super early into Quagsire, and Quagsire is an amazing Pokemon. Great type and great coverage, especially in this mod where we um, have the uh, modified early learn set, so it actually gets a bunch of water and ground moves and stuff. Fantastic encounter here. No, I missed Kate's run! Oh my god, man! <laughs> this card is making me go crazy! <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. I'm, Every I'm, I'm so single runner has <laughs> done this. I promise you, I've done this. I've seen super high level Nuzlockers do this. Editor, find the clip of Squirk running from the Yanmega a couple days ago. What are you fishing for? Don't you just... Oh god, please don't. <sighs> Everyone has misclicked run in battle um, <laughs> multiple times. You just gotta play a little bit more carefully. That's all you can do about it. But don't sweat it if it happens, because it happens to everyone. So the number one mistake that people make early if they're super, super new to this is they don't level their Pokemon properly, even when I give them rare candies. <laughs> uh, we'll see if he levels properly for this gym fight, I guess. Let's go. All right, oh, gym fight sure. time. Bring it. Let's uh, see how he does. So the first two mods should be easy here because they're matched yeah. to Geodude's power level. Nose Pass is a little bit higher base stat total, so that one can throw roll you off out. a little bit more. He's just going to lock himself into rollout here because he has no idea what the move does. Let's see if it works out. This can actually work out a surprising amount of the time if you just lock yourself into rollout and go. It's in a randomizer where you don't know what's no, coming. You that shit. Sometimes you'll just kill everything because Armaldo has ridiculous attack. Gets a spidef drop from the Luster Purge roll here. Because this rollout next is stacked Pokemon. to three now, so it's already going to do and tons of damage to this next Pokemon. Let's see what comes out. He did not level to the cap. Yeah, that's a lot of XP you get. All dish. <laughs> Why didn't he level to 15? So bad to die. He missed his roll out there. You, we kind of missed it, but he missed the roll, so he's got to start stacking again here. This Oddish has bubble for some reason, which is actually why it got sent out here, because the AI saw that he had a super effective move. He's going to start roll out again. This is going to kill, and then let's see what comes out next. Oh my god, crit. Yo, 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 yo! Wait! That's a little bit unfortunate. I'm guessing he missed the rollout there, and now he's minus Spadef, and the Luster Purge is gonna kill him. There's a random Haunter with Luster Purge. This is actually, this is unironically so ridiculously unlucky to be in this situation, because encountering ghost types early game in Nuzlocke is so tough, because a, a huge amount of the time, you just don't have a way to hit this. He has like a normal type, he has his, he has, he has a bug type with like Mega Horn that's not gonna be able to do any damage to this because it's quad resist. He got super, 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 super unlucky here encountering this Haunter, and He's going to wipe to it. He's just hard counter. There's nothing you can do. No! 
Where's the damage? This is like the equivalent of laning into like Caitlyn Lux and your support is AFK. <laughs> There's just nothing you can do. <laughs> There's no way we're losing to the first gym leader. Yep. Yeah, this is just has sludge it's for Lombre, so. But what are you gonna do? This is the nature of randomizers. Sometimes this is just Core gonna happen. Fish? So on this Dragonite. next attempt, he's gonna run into a wild no. encounter here. And we're gonna see a Tyrogue. Hi, Tyler one! <laughs> I fucking love Caterol, man. So, uh, a Tyrogue, as a baby Pokemon, really hard to catch. Um, he's not gonna weaken it at all. He's also leveled none of his Pokemon with his rare candies that he has infinite of. I don't need to analyze anything here. You can, you know what, what what's going on. I, I don't need to explain. Both of these mons are weak to the flamethrower that this Tyrogue randomly has, but no! he's not making it easy for himself right now. But these are the things that you learn. This is the attempt that he learns that he just needs to keep his shit rare candied, I guess. Actually gets the poison with Secret Power. He has an opportunity to catch here. He should have gone for it, I think, but yeah, now he's down to one Mon. So he's gonna run into another Mon here, even though he has repels. <laughs> he's gonna escape! fail to run. No, no, yo, what? <laughs> what do you mean, can't escape? Can't escape what? Can't escape what? <laughs> what? That is the most. That is one this of the most beautiful so wipes I've ever seen on this channel. Per, per what? Mm -hmm. per, Persian? Mm -hmm. Pupiter? And star you. Pupitar obviously seems Got good, but I think Pupitar? I would go before before you get T Tard. So it takes so long. I think it's fifty five, right? So this would be like last split of the game. I would go Persian here just for the early game power. He evolves at level. But 55. chat's gonna tell him to pick the pseudo legendary every time. Wait, that so. means I can only have him for the elite four. That's yeah, right. That's fine then. Wait, can I ever get to level fifty five? Damn, he's thinking about level caps and can everything. My... Let's go to the cave and then come back to the gym. <laughs> Dude, why is this shit not leveled? <laughs> Was that a Giga Drain? Let's go to the cave and then come back to the gym. Yeah, yeah, this streamer randomly has Giga Drain. This is just, he has no idea what the type chart is. He has no clue that grass types are dangerous to his rock ground type there. He just doesn't understand. Like, I'm not trying to hate on him here or anything. He just has no knowledge of the type chart. And one of the things I did is when I sent him this stuff is while he was streaming, I sent him the type chart and I was like, hey, I think if you want to beat this, your best bet to do well is just to look at this type chart. And then I sent him a website that very easily shows him the typings of each Pokemon. And just look at this a couple of times in important battles and think about your type matchups. That's the only, that, that's that's like the, pretty much the only advice I gave him. Um, and he completely ignored it. So he's going to wipe here. <laughs> So worth noting, because I, I forgot to mention this earlier, he is playing with Hardcore Nuzlocke rules. That's what I gave him, so he's not using any items in battle. There's no healing items here. Um, no potions in battle or anything like that. I just think it leads to boring gameplay, so I tried to build a rule set that's still good to beat, but allows for the no items battle because it's just more interesting that way. What is recycle? Oh, the double battles. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, the Icy Wind tech on the double from the Snorunt is crazy. AI using speed control and everything. He did remember to level this time at least, but... <laughs> the Togepi with no damaging moves. Oh my lord. Okay, he kills the Teddy Ursa. Poliwag in. This has this is Needle Arm Ancient Power C dot. He's cooking right now. He has no idea what any of these moves do. He clicked recycle. Needle Arm would have probably killed him. <laughs> it's it's a Wait, it's a disaster. What the fuck is this? I didn't I, know there was a double trainer here. I <laughs> Gotta hit those thunders now, I guess. Nope. Miss! Oh, did you catch that? He thundered, missed, and then the Politoed, <laughs> the Poliwag set up rain for him. So now his thunder is fully accurate. Wait, this is a crazy fight. This is so tense. Can he get out of this, actually? The center does counter. That's actually fine. That's good for him. He just clicks thunder again. It's always accurate here because it's raining. Thunder. It's free for the goat. Wait, he's got this. Easy. Yeah. There you go. Okay, we're good. You're chilling. You're so annoying. Oh no, it's a ground type. And he's arena trapped. Oh no. That's so unlucky, actually. He didn't level the Smeargle at all. Wait, am I dead? Oh no, it's not arena trap. Okay. XDD. Oh, these are hyper cutter, actually, I what guess. What is huh? that guy doing? Wait, he can't actually kill this. He's just cooked. Next attempt. 
So we got Togepi, Muck, Dawn Fan. Dawn Fan's yeah, the clear the pick here. Dawn Definitely Dawn Fan. It's so good. He's gonna go with Muck. Muck. It's fine. So one th one more thing worth noting about the randomizer is that um I only randomized move sets, no typings, no abilities, no stuff like that, to make it easier for him to like look stuff up and to not run into too ridiculous seven. stuff because I think it just makes things more complicated for a beginner. So after encountering some really 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 terrible encounters, including why not with a randomized move set, so no counter, no mirror coat, <laughs> he's rolling up with this. <laughs> uh, let's see how it, how it works out. There's n none of this is any good right now. <laughs> Let's go. We got the boys right, now. Did we he got fully the boys level this time? Drowsy. Not a good okay, matchup for Mark. I, I rolled that. He still didn't level to the cap. I don't. I think he's misunderstanding how it works. Okay, one more poison tail. Dead. Nice. That's a big kill. Viagra. <laughs> Flying type. I think Tyler one clears that, but we'll poison him for now. He said it so maybe, confidently. Maybe good against fire. <laughs> wait, this is gonna wash okay, him. How does he useless. beat this? Toxic, Vice, you got a toxic. Wait, you got a toxic, bro. Good, no? Oh, it says bone rush, dude. He's so fucked. Wait, he's actually fucked by this Viagra. Okay. Wait, the ground. Let me think. What counters ground? Uh huh. Yeah. Water, maybe. Maybe. I think scaling idea. can do well. Okay. Okay. Octazuka. Good Maybe move. or Mega Drain. Let's do Mega Drain. This has Dragon Dance. Wait, he's actually so fucked. Wait, this is so scary. This is like one of, unironically, with how the power scaling works with move sets and everything, encountering Dragon Dance via, <laughs> encountering Dragon Dance Viagra with Bone Rush is maybe one of the scariest things you could have possibly gotten on this gym. Like, on I can't think of much else because insane typing. Setup move that is really hard to stop. Really, really good coverage. What the fuck do you do against this? Let's do Octazuka. He needs to Octazuka. Does he get paralyzed? He does. Paralyzed! So one thing he has going for him... Nah, oh, this is miss, so unlucky. Miss. This is so unlucky. One thing he has going for him is that Lombre actually has very good special defense, and he resists the physical type from Bone Rush, so he resists the ground type move. So even after Dragon Dance, Vibrava is still going to go for the Dragon Breaths, which... He doesn't resist, right? But he has good spadef. Lombre has much better spadef than physical defense. So this is actually a decent matchup for him. He needs to, like, hit an Octazuka here, get an act drop or something. Or maybe he can fraud with, like, Grass Whistle or some shit. He definitely has outs here, but it's, it's looking really rough. Yo, he's a dragon! It's OP! Yep. Nice! Unfortunately, Lombre also does zero damage, but this is a really, really, really important hit to get this act drop. Roxanne's gonna heal. Oh my god, it's not serious. Oh no. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more. Dude, we he's getting so unlucky. Come on, Dude. hit, 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 hit. Hit. Nah. Okay, miss. Gets the miss. Oh my god, big. What is this even gonna have? Water gun. I think you have to side wave for max damage, because why not does it has no special attack or attack? It Boom. doesn't no damage at all. Yeah. Ghost! He's just giving him more dragon dances. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, give me some How does damage. He get out give of me this? some damage. Can he? Para here is huge. Going for the lick is actually amazing. Magic coat! That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> that's not even. That's. <laughs> so, magic coat copies like a status move that the enemy goes for. <laughs> so, one thing that's also interesting here that's a really, really niche AI quirk the fact that this has Bone Rush. It only sees Bone Rush as having the base power of hitting once because it's a multi-hit move. So even though he has a kill, he's often going to go for like a Dragon Dance or something else instead, even if he has the kill, because AI is not going to see it because he only sees the first hit of Bone Rush. This kind of can work to his advantage here. Come on, Tyler. You got to clutch this. Come on, Tyler. All right, Tyler. Let's Come see Come on, it. Tyler. Clutch it for me, baby. Triple kick! Interesting moveset. Wait, I think dead. it happened there. I think it, I, I'm pretty sure he has a kill with Bone Rush if he just went for it. But because only one hit kills, he went for Dragon Dance instead. That's huge for him right now. Come on, Tyler. One. Nice. I think he had a cross chop though for the damage. Okay, he clicked it. Don't die, There's Tyler. Don't die, rush. Tyler. Don't die. Yeah, he was. Yeah, and now the one hit kills, so he goes for it. This has it's like three or four weight. Dragon Dances right now. It's on kick weight. How does he win? Punch that motherfucker. Can he win this? Punch the him. accuracy drop. I forgot about it. Feebas Comet Punch for zero damage. A crit? Wait, this is insane. Oh! He oh, needs, wait, he hold needs up. another miss. 
Come on, come on. Again, again. Don't die. He's dead. Tank it! He needs another miss from the accuracy drop. That's insane. Miss! Dead! Oh my god, we win those. Come That's on, one shot, one shot, one shot. So insane. Yes! Holy shit. Wait, okay, unironically, this is one of the craziest fights I've ever seen in one of these reactions. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm beginning to think we made a pretty decent rule set and randomizer here with the way the power levels worked out and everything. I really like the randomized movesets. This is cool as fuck. That was a super hype fight. Not the fact that it was Dragon Dance for Brava, Pokemon, the Bone Rush okay. AI mattered. We lost a few Pokemon, but it's fine. Feebass, Comet Punch, Crit. Three, yeah, I measured it. It's three hits. <laughs> Is he using three. ruler strats? This guy's copying my shit. Four, Wait, he's four. biting my shit. What the fuck? The Aesir being Rattata is crazy. With, like, really good stab moves. What do I do? Yeah. I mean, if you keep switching, you just keep taking damage, right? You gotta commit at some point. It's like if you're behind in League of Legends, right? You can't just let enemy team take, like, every single tower, every single objective. You have to, like, look for some fight. Because you're going to have to fight them eventually anyway, right? So might as well take... If you think that you have, like, a good opportunity, a good fight, you might as well take it earlier rather than later. Holy shit, Ooh, guys. It's pilot. What is that? Swallow! <laughs> okay, not really. I'm out of sludge bombs. <laughs> what is he doing? He's not, he's not reading the text at all. <laughs> Kendra, look at your screen! Wait, Read the words! No, no! Oh, he didn't he didn't know about the wind straights. Bro didn't, bro didn't cook the wind straights! I mean he can get through this, right? Ah! I fucking <laughs> hate this chapter! Dude. He's, there's just like no regard for anything on his screen like no thoughts about like what type is anything It's just can you mash a through the game and if he can't he has to reset I guess maybe with this rule set. It's possible if he gets powerful enough encounters. <laughs> we'll see how far he takes it I just really need him to like I need to see at some point some So my only goal for this video now is I need to see some amount of progress I need to see him like learn something about this game, acquire some amount of game knowledge, or like start reading like moves or like the text on screen. I really hope he doesn't just end up mashing A through this entire run. I really, really hope so. That is the only thing I want, I is I want him to learn something about They're Pokemon so at the end of this. Well, mostly I just Come want on, him to have fun, good. but you know. We can catch this, right? This does mean, you, if you, quick reminder, to all you guys, if you fish here, you do not get an encounter near desert. Everything from here up until the desert is Route 111. And the annoying part is even if you delay this encounter to go to the desert, if you rock smash on the way up to the desert, you can just encounter a Geodude there and be fucked. So this route is really, really annoying. This is a, a fantastic encounter. Although worth noting, well, I guess, no, with the, with the randomized movesets, ah! this is actually fantastic. You'll get like flying moves and shit on Gyarados. This rule set with the randomized movesets actually make Gar makes Gyarados so good. Yes! You'll get like wing attack and shit. That's actually Mega so, so, so good. Gyarados. All right, Watson time. Pidgeotto. Okay, flying versus flying. Bird versus bird. That's not bad. This has extreme speed. Belly drum. Wait, this thing is crazy. With drill peck too. Feather dance to set up belly drum. This is the most cracked set I've ever seen in my life. This is pilot fucking 2.0. We're chilling. Kabutops. Hard countered. Hard countered. Gotta switch. Nope, you gotta switch, Kadrill. That's a rock type. Kadrill, no, that's Rocking a rock type. Kadrill! He's speed controlling you. How? You gotta switch. How? Wait. Should we put out Gyarados? No, you go lumber here. Yep. Good, good. Can this kill you? This can kill you, He's I rock. think. So if I use water. This has spore? He's asleep. Wait, that's so bad. Oh god, how the that's fuck do you me. kill this? If this just spam spore, you just lose. What do you Muck do? Him. Muck can't kill this. He resists all his moves. He's got a toxic. Him. He has a toxic here. These fights are crazy. Get the poison proc or something. That's actually poison pretty reasonable tail. damage. Stop putting me to sleep, you rat. Seven come. Dude, fast Pokemon and randomizers randomly having Spore is so fucking bad. I did do the thing where I think I disabled, like, Dragon Rage and stuff early. 
like the the game breaking moves or whatever they're called in the randomizer, but you can't disable spore, which I think would probably be good. This is really annoying to encounter. Oh my god, it's so lost. Good intimidate. Everyone's asleep. You can switch now. He's not gonna spore. Uh, don't go to the Pokemon that's already asleep though. Not making any progress. We gotta wake up. He's just water gunning. Please wake up. Oh, this is a really interesting AI case. So I think what's happening here, Rock Tomb is highest damage, but because he's already faster, he's not going to go for the speed control move and instead choose a move randomly. We've abused this in EK before. I think that's how it works. I'm pretty sure. There's no other reason he shouldn't be going for a rock move here. Um, but yeah, AI prefers speed control if he's slower, but if he's faster, it's like actually... Um, discouraged so he's gonna go for a random move this is why he's water attacking even though it's not highest damage please wake up please wake up please wake up and suck him can go for rock throw too but can also go for the water gun wake Jack, up! did he get a four, four turn sleep no though? he quit that wasn't a crit i think <laughs> no just both just did 18. wake up no he quit <laughs> he's so invested i love this dude the scared has thunder punch though You've intimidated this twice. Gyarados is actually completely free here. Just Thunder Punch, in my opinion. Oh god, this is so annoying. Oh my god, he's awake! You really need to be Thunder Punching, bro. You really gotta be Thunder Punching. He probably, he did, probably doesn't even know this is a water type, right? Which is fair. Yo, this Mighty Anna's moveset's kind of cracked, actually. Sleep! I can't do anything! Yeah, that's actually really annoying. Holy shit. It has to be Gyarados, right? I guess. I'd probably go you Muck. Need to wake up. You need to wake up now. You need to wake up now! I think I think this is so I think this last sleep turn was guaranteed because I think he switched it out immediately after he got put to sleep. Nice. Yes. Very very important wake oh up there. Oh my god, it's clutch. That's actually super clutch. Dude, these fights are crazy. That's so scary. Wait, that's so what scary. Is that? You're fucked. What is that type? You're actually fucked. Water electric. This is it. Uh, it says Volt Absorb, bro. Oh, the pain split is huge! Wait, this has so much HP! Oh my god, that's OP! Yo! Yeah, because it averaged out your HP Wait, and Lantern has really high base HP. That's so good for him! But now he can't click it again. Oh, he's gonna heal him. Yep. It's Volt Absorb. This Lantern actually full walls this Gyarados. That don't hurt he actually Can I do that again, chat? Pain split? Yeah, pain split again and then probably sack something and try to kill this muck is like the oh only Oh my god. Gusta. Does this lantern just not have electric moves, or...? This is actually so lucky that this doesn't have any electric moves. This not having any electric moves is so Stop unbelievable. Stop saying Thunder Punch! It's healing him, you fucker! <laughs> Do I Pain Split again? Average Twitch Shatter. Really good miss. Oh my god! Dude, Pain Split is such an unintuitive move. No! Like, if you don't know exactly the effect of that move, just seeing it play out live when you use it makes no sense. The fact that Drill Pike killed there is so lucky. He really needed to e-speed. <laughs> hey, well played. One death, another riskless fight, Kadrol. Good job. Route 115. Was I here before, chat? Unlucky. I think he fished here. You can definitely fish here before. <laughs> He's sludge bobbing into another Magnemite. <laughs> I fucking can't, bro. That's good against electric. Maybe trash? He's just like trying him out. He has no idea. There's like no learning process at all. <laughs> Dude. Bro is just mashing. This is the sickest run ever. I I don't know what I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> like it's not like he's making any actual strategic decisions. He's just mashing buttons and hope, hoping that it works and it ends up making the best fucking run we I've ever reacted it. to. Wait, Maxi it's a time. Boss fight? Uh, what is that? Uh Dragon Dude, Air. this Let's I can't believe I can't get over how cracked the Swellow set is, and he has no idea. You can literally spam Feather Dance if an opponent only has physical moves. Click Belly Drum oh and then God, fucking sweep one. with extreme speed. That's actually crazy. Makuhita. 
Nah, Extreme Spree is gonna go hard there. Please just click. Oh my god, <laughs> look crazy. up the Look up the types. Do, do anything, bro. Yeah, I think Extreme Speed might go Like, his here. strategy is basically click A until he doesn't kill something and takes too much damage, and then he starts switching to something that looks like it might be good into what he's facing. Maybe Drill? That's his only strategy. That Icy Wind miss oh is actually God. crazy One for him. One more Drill! That shit saved his ass. I think he's gonna die here. One more Drill! I think this kills, right? Yep. What? And then every time he takes more damage than he expected. Yo, chat, what happened there? He starts screaming. Ice beats flying. Dude, this is so sick. How? Can't you just dodge it in the air? Like, what? <laughs> How does ice beat flying? It's a good question. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, no, my swallow's dead now. What do you mean? He's making some pretty good arguments, to be fair. All right, Norman Come time. On, think about it, Mark. Think about it. This is, I think, usually the hardest part of these randomizer runs because the slakings is going to be replaced with usually a legendary because the randomizer based on power level is going to replace based on base stats and slaking has really 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 high base stats only matched by like ubers so norman is usually going to have some really broken legendaries so let's see it in action i mean this is easy what is that <laughs> oh my god slush bomb is perfect it's not very practice. effective yeah there it is okay <laughs> Why did he just turn into How is German? That fair? <laughs> We're gonna poison him. Dude, oh shit. Okay, one quick thing that you can do for randomizers, especially in these fights, in these like hard gym fights, with the way that the Emerald AI works, the switch in AI, they prefer to switch in Pokemon that have moves that are super effective on you. So if, if you know that his ace just came in before his other Pokemon, that's a pretty good indicator that it's going to have a special effective move, like in this case, Mist Ball. Crazy that Muck tanked that, by the way. So it's usually a good idea to switch into something, if they switch into something like this, that you think is going to tank a super effective move. So I don't know if he has Mighty Yano on this team, but that might have been a decent switch. I mean, it could obviously also be a ground move or whatever, but, but it's just something to keep in mind that maybe if we're going to learn something strategy-wise today, maybe not Caterall, but maybe you watching this video, because this is, after all, somehow an educational resource. Anyway, let's watch him wipe this Rayquaza, I guess. Now we're going to swap to Sky Rat. Good. Very good switch. And then we're going to Aurora Beam your right. Ooh, really good. Okay. Yeah, you're fucked. That Aurora Beam was going to do zero, by the way. He got special attack drop by the Mist Ball on the switch in. I think, and Aurora Beam's really low base power. I think it was going to do, like, if I had to guess, had Calyx 30 to 40%. Kingler is just really good, man, but this is not it. Hydro Pump. This is not it. Nope. Yeah, you just get one shot by Dragon Claw. Yeah! I mean, he got he's the... Just, so, he's just one-shotting everything! So, unironically, the only reason he's not wiping here... Is because Muck got the poison tick, right? He got he got the he got he randomly poisoned him. <laughs> oh he toxic. Okay, good. If he doesn't click toxic there, if that doesn't go through, he would just wipes here. Dude, these fights are insane, man. No! He's, just, he's just one shotting everything! Yeah, it's a Rayquaza. Dead! Nice. Huge. Should be free for the rest, right? He just keeps running into the most ridiculous shit in these fights. Vibrava Dragon Dance on Roxanne, fucking Spore Kabutops on Watson, and then fucking Rayquaza with Mist Ball here to counter his ace. And he somehow, by just mashing A, just gets through. This is so crazy. I, 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 I'm at a loss of words. For the first time in my reacting career, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is so insane. If we teach Sparky... How to surf. So one thing I did for this randomizer is I made sure all HMs were compatible with each mon because HMs are really annoying. Then we can just replace Water Rat with a better yeah, Water Rat. You can see everything learned surf here. Like Metronome, that's useless, right? Yep. Good thinking, Kadrol. Wiggles a finger to use any Pokemon move at random. Wait, that's actually kind of cool. No, it's really bad. We're not on time. Voltorb. Electric type. Honestly, you should be fine here. Electric type is counted by air. That's the opposite of how it works. <laughs> Dude, he has no fucking idea. He just... I just think it's crazy that he has, like, no... Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I can break It's, that. like, such fucking good content. He's just a king, man. I fucking love Kadrol. He just knows 
that not looking things up will make for the better content here. I, I got to give it to him, man. It's like, if he just looked shit up, this would be too easy. <laughs> Maybe I don't win that. You think? How's what he if struggling we swap to make a here fucking now? Voltorb, man? Victory Beal! <laughs> That's a grass type! Wait! Dude. I see! I see, you're right! Okay, ice punch. I see. Nice. Don't die on me! I think you live this. God, my head calcs are just too crazy. Surely gr grass can't do anything to fucking mud. That sounds piss useless. Mud owns grass every day. Dude, the, the fucking mud type. Oh my god, it's broken! What the fuck? Good matchup. He's just so confused. Why okay, is he so confused? <laughs> now nah, that gets cleared. Alright, Maxi 2, Magma Hideout. Always a struggle. No, I get, yeah, that gets clear too. He's just, yeah. <laughs> he does this Damn! every single time. What the fuck? <laughs> it's the same shit every time. He just stays in until he takes oh a lot of damage. God, man. And Sky then he switches. Popping off. There's no way. It's like he's, the, it's like the only thing he can see is the HP bars of the Pokemon and everything else is black. <laughs> That's how he plays the game. It's so funny. There's no way Skyrat got taken out. You really like that Golbat, huh? <laughs> this is Earthquake, it's scary. Going Psybeam over Steelwing, I think, is actually correct there. Ooh, is gonna do a lot. Not gonna kill, though. Oh my! Am I the fucking what king of head right on? What? Wait, he's, he's, he's ground. Okay. Yeah. He's ground and yeah. electric, right, Chatter? <laughs> Dude, he was so close. So Let's go Sparky. <laughs> Why is that? No! <laughs> what the fuck was that logic? <laughs> Dude, I fucking love him so much. This is the best run ever. This is the best Nuzlocke ever played. Huh? Is it a reroll or not? Was it a I dupe? swear I've seen that Pokemon. If it's a dupe, it gets a reroll, yeah. Nice hit. It's a reroll! He loves it's his Charmander. Listen! I have been given duplicate Sparky, duplicate Houndoon, and duplicate dog shit here. That is legal. That is yep. legal. That is legal. Yep. I got, dupes, it's legal. I got fucked three times, and I accepted it. One piece of life. Charizard isn't even over. that good, by the way. It's like, it, yeah, it's I'll, I'll actually got a pretty though. awful typing. <laughs> the only thing Charizard does is like really weird, like crazy. Are you cheating <laughs> in a kid's game? Venius, why the fuck does he always pop up at the most annoying times? <laughs> Betty, shut the fuck up. I'm not cheating in a kid's game. I'm getting insurance. <laughs> I have insurance right now. If my if What I was gonna say is that Charizard can do like pre-damage blaze stuff sometimes. <laughs> Ice Beam? What? My that is an insane Magneton. Beam. Wait, this hey, moveset goes crazy. hard. What Perfect coverage. The fuck? Perfect coverage. Only walled by other Magnetons. Oh my god, it's a War Turtle! Yo, that's Blastoise on spawn! Dude, he gets so excited about the starters. It's so cute. I wish I get this excited about Pokemon again, man. Okay, Bone Rush, Dawn Fan randomly killed his mark. I can't say anything to these fucking deaths, man. It's a, there's nothing to analyze. Bro's just clicking buttons. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, Arch. Ooh, Blissey here is, what is spooky. That thing? Okay. I mean, that's fine. It's not going to really do anything to you, right? Camouflage into Rock type. He switches on the fly. That's Gen 3 Switch AI right there. He saw he that he had resistance in the back. He's water type. He's electricity, no? Mm-hmm. Why, why does he have a level 25 Psyduck in the back, bro? <laughs> bro, what is happening? Uh, he doesn't have any super glaring weaknesses, actually. Noctowl is just a bad Pokemon, unfortunately. Yeah, this is the best thing you can go to there. Water Spout is so spooky. Okay. You're faster. You need to attack. 
Got to attack. Not that he knows anything about speed mechanics. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> I'm not saying this to like front him or 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 talk shit on him. It's just true. It's just how he He's plays the game. Electric. He wouldn't Sorry, deny he any of this. Bees. This is a very interesting way of playing this game. Okay, for some reason this went for thunder. I think you can outspeed. Nope. Unlucky man. Dude, he's getting rolled. But it's like every time he gets hit for a lot of damage, he just switches, right? Dude, it's like how I lost Pilot! He got thundered in the air! Bro is out of it. Bro is, I think it's done. Bro is not locked in right now. Dude, this lantern kind of hard counters this team except for Breloom, huh? That's a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> you can- there's a win condition here, you can do it, but it's not like... You can't share cold because you're lower level. It doesn't matter, you just lose, right? I mean, like, he can miss a bunch of thunders. He's gonna be out of thunder PP soon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Berlum is actually slower there. Okay, I didn't expect that. I guess he is just fucked. He needs to miss Thunder on Blastoise now. Everything I have is water! <laughs> I think he might be out of Thunders. Yeah, I think he's out. I think he's out. <laughs> he's okay. No, you can win. no, no, man. No, you no. can win. It's only five Thunder PP. I think he's out. You can get out of this. He actually had another thunder and he missed it. That's crazy. I think he just saved his run on a th on a. He just saved his run on a crunch spadef drop into a thunder miss. <laughs> These fights are so insane, man. He's out. Yeah, he's fine. He's got it. Epic. All right, rebuild. Go back. You got this. Is he healed? He has fly, right? He can just fly with Noctel. Marshall even is alive. I don't have time for you. I need to save the world, dumb bitch. True. Wait. Wait. Uh, I like Wait. the buzz. Wait. Oh no. I mean, Blastoise can probably win this. It's raining, right? Blastoise should win this. You need to crush claw there, 100%. Don't switch. No, 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 don't switch. Don't- No! What are you doing, bro? You had it! it was, you were fine! See, you live one, and then you just surf, and it's rain boost, and you have level advantage. You were fine! Kadril, no! He punted so hard. Do you see what I mean? The habit of, like, switching every time he takes too much damage, and it's fucking him over? This just cost him the run. Wait, that's so unfortunate. There's no way. He could have just flown home. He could have just flown home. He didn't even need to fight. This was an optional. This is the most tragic wipe I've ever seen in my life. To a nine levels lower Electabuzz. Randomly on this swimmer's team. That you could have avoided. That you could have flown past. That you could have beat. If you'd sacked Noctel. He actually could have lived that, but I think it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's so unlucky, man. Wait, that's the most tragic wipe I've ever seen. This run is insane. <laughs> there was so many points where he so deserved to die. <laughs> on like every fight. And this was the only fight where I feel like he didn't. <laughs> I just played for 10 hours and I lost to a swimmer. He streamed for 10 hours? We go again tomorrow morning. I think that whole run was one 10 hour stream. How do you recover from that? Now, there would be two narratively satisfying ways that Cadrill's Nuzlocke could end here. One, Cadrill could give up on the challenge here, realizing that learning all about typings and base stats is just not fun for him. I mean, who wants to do homework to play video games? He would have learned something from the experience and maybe I could have learned something from how I built this run. The second option is that Cadrill and I could sit down together for an epic coaching session where I teach him the ins and outs of the mechanics as we work together to make him into a better Nuzlocker. But neither of these things happened. 
Cadrill just kept bashing his head into the wall, mashing through dozens of attempts, not giving up and continually resetting, even when wiping to the Elite Four, but also not really improving on his game knowledge at all. Eventually, the League of Legends caster hit this starter. Oh my, oh my god! And it was all over from there. So now what? He beat the challenge eventually, but didn't really have to get better at the game to do so. He just needed to get insanely lucky with a starter and mash through. I mean, I might as well have sent him an Iron Mon ROM at this point. Does this mean I made the randomizer too easy? Is learning about Pokemon just inherently boring? I don't know. But I had a blast watching Cadrill play. It feels like he had a blast playing. It seems like his chat had a good time, so I guess the only question that matters at the end of this video is, did you enjoy it?